Hi, I'm Gagan. In this video, we will discuss various data security rules. Whether you're preparing for your CISSP exam or looking to advance your cybersecurity career, understanding these rules is key to protecting your organization's most valuable asset, its data. Let's start with data owner. This is arguably one of the most important rules when it comes to data security governance. The data owner holds the ultimate organizational responsibility for the data. While they are typically high-level managers or executives, think department heads, vice presidents, or even the CEO, it is important to highlight that the data owner should be the person or role with the best understanding of the business value of the data. This ensures that security decisions are aligned with the actual business needs and priorities. Their key responsibilities include defining data classification levels, so they determine how sensitive different types of data are and ensure it's properly labeled. For example, they might classify data as public, internal, confidential, or restricted based on factors like regulatory requirements, business impact, and privacy concerns. They also establish security controls, so they define what protection mechanisms are needed for each classification level. This includes specifying requirements for encryption, access, monitoring, and other protective measures based on the data's sensitivity. They decide who should have access to what information and with what privileges. This involves determining which roles or individuals need access to perform their jobs, whether they need read, write, or administrative access. They also determine data lifecycle policies, including when and how data should be destroyed. Data owners specify retention periods based on business needs and regulatory requirements, as well as appropriate methods for secure disposal when data reaches end of life. They're also accountable for the data value. They understand what data is worth to the organization. This means assessing both the operational value of the data and the potential impact if it were compromised, leaked, or lost. Here is a crucial point for your CISSP exam. While data owners can delegate day-to-day -day management tasks, they cannot delegate their ultimate responsibility for the data. This is a principle you will want to remember. In the context of GDPR, the data owner often serves as what's called the data controller, the entity that decides what data to process, why and how. Next is the data custodian. If the data owner establishes the what and why of data protection, the data custodian focuses on the how. Data custodians are responsible for the day-to-day -day protection and management of the data. They are typically IT professionals who implement the security controls specified by the data owner. Their responsibilities include implementing security controls as directed by policy. So they configure systems, apply patches, and deploy security tools based on specifications from the data owner. They ensure confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data. So they monitor for unauthorized access, verify data hasn't been altered, and maintain systems to prevent downtime. Another responsibility is performing and testing backups. So they execute regular backup procedures and conduct recovery tests to ensure data can be restored when needed. They apply appropriate storage controls for different sensitivity levels from encrypting highly confidential data to organizing public information for accessibility. And lastly, they maintain and monitor security. So they review logs, investigate alerts, and respond to security incidents involving the data under their care. Think of data custodians as the guardians who execute the security vision set by the data owners. They follow the rules rather than making them. If it helps you, remember, consider the letter T in the custodian T as a reminder that this role is typically filled by IT professionals who handle day-to-day -day protection and management of data. This tip will help you remember the concept of custodian. Now let's take a moment to directly compare these two rules since distinction is often tested in the certification exams. So data owner has the ultimate responsibility whereas data custodian is responsible for day-to-day -day management. Data owner sets a policy, data custodian implements the policy. Data owner defines what and why whereas data custodian focuses on how. Typically data owner is from senior management, IT departments are custodians. Data owner makes critical decisions, whereas data custodians follows the direction. And lastly, remember this, that data owner cannot delegate responsibility, whereas data custodian works under the owner's authority. 
This relationship between data owner and data custodian forms the backbone of organizational data governance. Now let's talk about two roles that have become increasingly important with the regulations like GDPR, the data controller and data processor. The data controller decides the purpose and means of processing personal data. This role often overlaps with the data owner in many organizations. Controllers have significant legal responsibilities, including ensuring there is legitimate basis for collecting and processing personal data, implementing appropriate security measures to protect the data, honoring data subjects' rights like access or deletion requests, being accountable for demonstrating compliance with data protection principles. The data processor processes personal data solely on behalf of the controller. This could be a third-party service provider or an internal department. Data processors must follow the controller's documented instructions regarding data handling. They can only use the data for the purpose specified by the controller. Data processors must implement appropriate security measures to protect the data. They also need to assist controllers in fulfilling data subject requests. They are required to notify controllers of data breaches without undue delay. For example, if a company uses cloud service provider to store customer data, the company is the data controller while the cloud provider is the data processor. The company determines why and how customer data is collected and used, while the cloud provider simply stores and manages the data according to the company's instruction. It is worth noting that the same organization can be both a controller and a processor in different contexts. For instance, a company may be a controller for its employee data, but a processor when handling a client data on behalf of another business. Next is data steward. So data steward rule focuses on data quality, meaning and usage. They are concerned with data content and its context. So they ensure that data has consistent definitions and is used appropriately across the organization. They look at the business rules associated with the data. So they help define and maintain the rules that govern how data should be structured and validated. They also provide guidance on proper interpretation of data elements to prevent misuse. Data stewards typically have subject matter expertise in specific data domains. For example, a finance department might have a financial data steward who understand the accounting principles and ensures financial data maintains its integrity and proper usage. Data stewards bridge the gap between business and technical stakeholders. They understand both the business value of data and the technical aspects of managing it, serving as translators who can communicate effectively with both IT teams and the business executives. Then we have the data protection officer. The DPO role is specifically required by the GDPR for certain organizations, particularly those processing large amounts of sensitive personal data. The DPO has several responsibilities. Firstly, it is responsible for monitoring compliance with the data protection laws and organizational policies. They evaluate whether the organizational practices align with relevant regulations like GDPR. They also advise the organization on data protection obligations. They provide guidance to leadership on legal requirements and best practices for handling personal data. They conduct awareness training for staff involved in data processing. So they develop and deliver educational programs to ensure employees understand their data protection responsibilities. They also serve as a contact point for regulatory authorities. So they act as the official liaison between organization and data protection agencies during inquiries or investigations. They also oversee data protection impact assessments. They ensure that thorough risk evaluations are performed before implementing new data processing activities that might pose high risk to the individual's privacy. Unlike the other data rules, the data protection officer must operate with a high degree of independence. They report directly to the highest level of management and cannot be penalized for performing their duties. They must be appointed based on professional qualities, particularly expert knowledge of data protection law and practices. In many organizational structures, the DPO functions as a specialized type of data steward, but with specific legal requirements and protections that other data stewards may not have. Next is the system owner. The system owner is responsible for the actual systems that house and process data. They develop and maintain system security plans to ensure that systems meet the security requirements set by data owners. 
They ensure secure deployment and operation of systems. They manage system configuration according to security requirements. And they also label systems based on the highest classification of data they process. This role is essential for bridging the gap between the data governance policies and the technical implementation of those policies, ensuring that systems are secure and support the organization's data management needs. Finally, we have data users, anyone who accesses data to perform work tasks. These individuals should only have access to the data they need to do their job. They must follow security policies established by data owner. They are also often the first line of defense against many security threats. In the context of GDPR, we also have data subjects, individuals who can be identified through their personal data. A data subject is any identifiable individual whose personal data is being collected, stored, and processed. This isn't a role within an organization, but rather the person about whom data is being handled. Data subjects have significant rights under the modern privacy regulations, including right to access, so they can request copies of all personal data an organization holds about them. They have right to rectification, so they can request correction of inaccurate personal information. They have right to erasure, that is, right to be forgotten. They can request deletion of their personal data under certain circumstances. They have right to restriction of processing, that is, they can request limitations on how their data is used. They got a right to data portability, so they can request that their data is in a structured, commonly used format to transfer to another service provider. Organizations processing personal data must consider these rights when designing systems and processes. This often introduces requirement that impact the work of data owners, custodians, and stewards. For cybersecurity professionals, understanding the concept of data subjects is crucial because protecting their rights and personal data is often at the heart of many security and privacy requirements. Let's quickly go through a quick summary. The data owner classifies information and establishes security requirements. The system owner ensures systems can support those requirements. The data custodian implements specific security controls. Data steward ensures data quality and proper usage. Data users access and use the information following established policies. This framework creates checks and balances that when properly implemented ensure comprehensive data protection. Now for those of you studying for the CISSP exam, here are some of the key points to remember. Data owners have ultimate responsibility that cannot be delegated. Data custodians implement but don't establish security policy. Understand the distinction between ownership and custodianship. Know how GDPR specific rules, controller, processor, map to traditional rules. Remember that proper role definition is fundamental to the principle of separation of duties. I hope this breakdown helps clarify these important concepts. If you're studying for the CSSP exam or working in cybersecurity, make sure you understand not just the definitions of these rules, but how they interact to create a comprehensive security framework. If you found this information valuable, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity content designed to help advance your cybersecurity career. I'm more than happy to connect with you on LinkedIn. Thank you.